Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to get Autotask talking with your Connect Booster portal. We'll head to the main menu, Admin and Resources, and we're going to generate a new resource user. For this new user, we'll create a first and last name. You could use Connect and Booster. Here I'll use Test and User. And set a dummy email. Then we'll head up to the security tab at the top, create a username at your company's domain, and set and confirm a password for this user. Make sure you note the username string and the password you create as they'll be needed a little later on. For a security level, we'll select API user, the special class. And on the outsourcing permissions, we'll say allow all. Under the HR tab, we'll set some of the required fields, such as the effective date of starting, so we can set the day's date. And as it says, an hourly cost is required, so we'll hit new. And an hourly rate of zero is just fine, so we'll say OK. Next, we'll go to the Approvers tab and set up the required elements here as well. Selecting a company resource as the timesheet approver and saying OK. And the same with an expense report approver. Moving to the Associates tab, we'll set up Departments here, selecting the Administrative Department and giving it a high-level role, like Exec Management. Perfect. Returning just to double-check our username here again, if we hadn't noted it before, take the opportunity to do so now. Then save and close the resource. With the resource created, we'll now go to your Connect Booster portal and log in if you haven't already. Heading to the top left corner, we'll go down to the Settings menu. And again, from the top, select Integrations. If you don't already see your Autotask integration present, you can select New Integrations and pick Autotask. And then open that integration. Where on, you'll put in the username and the password for that special user resource we just created. With this complete, head down to the bottom and save. Then we'll use the three dots to the right of the auto tests to test our connection. If our username and password were entered correctly, we should see a success message. And there it is. And that completes the setup of the communication between Autotask and your new Connect Booster portal.